mambo vipi hii ni machapali media na mimi ni Michael Bayo machapali mpenda unaweza kuita the blog selesi ama you are full time award winning blogger na kama kawaida hii ni machapali media juu kula habari za burudani yani zikitokea tu hapa ndio mahali kwa kwanza ambapo utaweza kuzipata leo tuko na bonge la superstar yani ukitaja ma superstar lazima uweke kama si namba moja na namba mbili kwa sababu oe si mchezo mtu ambaye ako na a total of almost 20 million views pale TikTok alafu ako na followers 1.2 si mchezo waitwa France mami ama mami France ama wewe mtamkwaje Mami Francis. Mami Francis. Hilo ndio jina lako la kitambulisho? Ah, jina langu la kitambulisho Francisca Mbai. Francisca Mami Mbai. Mbai. Oh. Eh uh-huh. eh. Tuseme yani, ulizaliwa wapi? Mombasa. Eh uh-huh. eh. Nilizaliwa Mombasa, nimelelewa Mombasa. Mm. Ni maisha yangu yote. Kuna wale watu ambao walisoma nawe high school ama primary ukiwataja hizo shule ambazo ulienda watasikia rara. Sema si nikwambia si nikwambia tusoma naye huyu. <laughs> Mimi nilisoma shule yangu ya kwanza kusoma nilisoma Precious Twins. Inaitwa Precious Twins iko hapa kali. Ah shule ya pili kusoma inaitwa Kisauni Academy. Iko hapa hapo Leiza. Shule ya tatu mama yangu yote na utukufu wangu wote. Nimesema tu shule ya tatu. Hakufukuzwa. Sikuwahi kufukuzwa hata siku moja. Nilikuwa mtundu lakini nilikuwa na njia zangu. Ama uliharibike ukubwani? Ah niliharibikia tu dogoni. Ah shule ya tatu ile kwa hiyo ni Coast Girls na hapo ndo nilisomea high school na basi basi wajua watu wanasema yule kama ashiki ah si shiki waambie grade ulipata gani Daudi anguka ah yeye akasaidiwa na msalaba tu hapo mbele ndio replace kako baada baada high school baada high school nilienda college lakini sikuwahi kumaliza ya nilienda college mtiti hai but sikuwahi kumaliza nilifanya secretarial hizo yani kuongezea tu na huko chagua siku za kuza sura. Ningatagua <laughs> kwenda kumpata mbaba. Mbona mbona kumalizia? Ah, kumalizia. Yaani chenye nilikuwa nasomea, mm. ile kazi ilikuja ikakatika. Alafu kazi kukatika kwa hiyo pia nilikuwa sina pesa. Mm. So, kukosa pesa hivyo ikabidi niachane na hayo masomo nianze kuhangaika huko hicho. So katika kuhangaika kwako before tukujue hapa TikTok maybe kwa unaweza kutuelezea tu yani mahanga yako yako umepitia yapi umepitia yapi umepitia yapi mpaka ukajipataje mpaka ukaja TikTok mpaka ukaamua hapa ndio unaishi napo hapo siku ni na maamuzi ya kuishi TikTok mm. siku na maamuzi kabisa la hizo sasa hivi venye iko huwezi mm. jua ya Mungu ni mengi kama mnavyoona mm. haya mahanga yako yangu mimi hustle yangu ya kwanza kabisa mm. ilikuwa maroon shows roll show as in easy promotion merchandisers i used to be a twerker Uh-huh. Toka ni wale watuzishaji matako wani yani tuko tunatingisha. Yaani hakuna road show ya Mombasa ambapo mimi nilikuwa nakosa. Road show ipita hivi bila mami fancy hamna hata moja. Ulikuwa dancer. I was one of the best twerkers. Not even dancer, twerkers. Let us just put it the way. Yaani ulikuwa unaishi na mm. matako. <laughs> eh, eh, matako yangu yalikuwa yananilisha. Uh-huh. Mm. So hiyo ndio ilikuwa hizo ndio zilikuwa job zangu za kwanza ndio zikaninua mpaka nikaja nikaingia kwenye industry ya sanaa. Mm. Hii industry ya sanaa ya Mombasa nimekuwa hapa for the longest time. Yeah, ever since I was 19, 18 years. Yeah, niliingia katika industry na mpaka sasa hii nimebaki hapo. Ah, uh, sasa hii nimejitoa kidogo maana wewe mshahara wao nao ndugu yangu. Hiyo ni story ya siku nyingine. Ah, sasa nikaja nikiwa huko huko kwenye Kutuwa. Mm. Eh nikienda kwa sana boss wangu mwenye alimpatia kazi ya secretary. Oh. Mm. Uh-huh. Nikaja nikawa secretary, nikafanya secretary for like three years hivyo. Mm. Alafu issues katokea pale mamangu alipokuwa mgonjwa. So unajua kuna boss ambaye atakuruhusu uache kazi wewe ukamtibu mamangu mamangu alikuwa Tanzania. Sasa hizo safari za kwenda na kurudi ndio zikafanya kazi ikakatika. So ikabidi nichague kazi ya kazi ama kumtibu mamangu na nikachagua mamangu. So after hapo nikaja sasa nitaingia sokoni kuuza mitumba. Nimeuza mitumba sokoni miaka miwili hivi at most. Kama sijasahau miaka miwili nikauza mitumba nikauza mitumba alafu mbaba alipoingia akaanza kunilea mimi nikarudi nyumbani. Oh, mbaba yule ndio tuambiwa mambaba mwingine. Ilikuwa lini hapo? Sio ilikuwa 2015. So umejua na baba na baba for 7 years. Ame change life yako. Yeah, he has changed my life. 
sana 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 kwa sababu mbaba kija nilipata mimi nilikuwa sana nilikuwa niko na nilikuwa bado sijaanza kufanya kazi Mm. Baba kija kunipata ati kwa tunaishi kwa ma club wenzangu. Mlikuwa mwaishi kwa ma club. Uende club upate mtu ujune mwanzangu kurudi nyumbani. Maisha yende ile. Eh. Unaona wale wasichana ambao wanaitwa slave queens uende tu umependeza uweke mguu mmoja kwa mwingine, ushike mm. glass ya wine, mtu aje akuone umependeza. Mm. Atakununulia alafu mtu akusha unaambia sina kia. Mtu anakutolea 5000. Mabuzi ya kitambo sikawa abuza sikuzi na mungu so no. i used to live out of that life and uh, apart from that sasa by the time baba pia anakuja kunipata yule boss wangu mwingine alikuwa amenuliza kama naweza rudi kuwa secretary unaona mm. lakini nilipopata mbaba nikawa nimeanza kibiashara kongolea nikaona ya nini acha tu niendelee na biashara yangu ngoja kidogo hapo maisha ya kubangaiza sema ni maisha ya kubangaiza si ndio ya sleep eh wajua kuna ile ya kwamba atakupatia pesa fair wewe but be, eh, wengi wengi watu wengi eh, sidhani kama wanataka wakone club ishe club kuna wanda nyumbani ngo ukienda mimi nilikuwa sio ni maana agal totoa alikuwa na mtu wake oh ulikuwa ulikuwa na mchizi ulikuwa na mchizi he used to take care of everything na nimekea nyumba na nilikuwa ni si ile maisha club ni kwenda tu ile maana mchana unafanya nini unalala Usiku mm. sasa umeenda tu club yani Monday to Monday yani ilikuwa mimi lazi. Sherehe after sherehe after sherehe. So um baba ni limit keep nine. Baba ni limit nine ndani ya WhatsApp group. Mhm. Ni kile ni limit nine ndani ya WhatsApp group alafu sasa nikaja kwa. Ah. Mm. Oh. Alafu what? Eh hii historia si yako tatongea kidogo. But nitaka kujua eh ilikuwaaje kuwaaje yani breakthrough yako ya Tito ilikuwa jama ulijipataje katika social media mpaka yani watu wakakujua kwa social media na mpaka una an, a living out of social media ah uh, kupana living was my first priority in my social media so uh, back in 2019 2020 mbaba bangu alirudi alikuwa anafanya kazi ya karibu aliresign kutoka kazi yake ya karibu na alipo resign uh, things never went that much good eh vitu zingine zikabadilika so si unakumbuka nikikwambia nilirudi nikakaa nyumbani kwa kuwa baba alikuwa ananilea yeah. he used to provide everything for me so in between hapo ndo nikaenda nikafanya makeup course na hiyo makeup course yenyewe nilikuwa sijaitibia manani sana cause at the end of the day nitalipiwa nyumba nitakula nitavaa unaona yeah. so mbaba aliporudi vitu vikabadilika ile pesa ingii vile ilikuwa inaingi inaingia hapo mm. hapo ndo nikajikumbuka ah nilikuwa mpamba nani time ya kukaa nyumbani umeisha sasa hivi wa mke ujitafutie eh sawa sawa so ndo hapo nikasema hata wakati huo nilikuwa siko TikTok watu wengi ambao walikuwa wanaingia TikTok walikuwa wanaambia ah mimi na hivi mtiko vyako kuingia TikTok unaweza unaweza kuwa juu sana sasa mimi ili akili ya kuja kuingia TikTok nilikuja kuingia TikTok kwa sababu nilikuwa nataka pesa siko anataka kufanya vituko mm. family nileta tu yenyewe family kuja. Maana hapo kiangalia video zangu za kwanza nilikuwa nafanya tu biashara ya mkorogo. Niingie niongee kuhusu mkorogo wangu niuze nitoke basi. Sasa family yangu ya kwanza kuja ni ile video ya kwanza ambayo nilifanya na mbaba nikimkaribisha. So hapo ndo sasa nika views zikapanda na nini na nini na paka leo nimekuwa. Na mbaba alichukuliaje hii historia ya, ya TikTok especially zile parts ambazo yeye ana participate Ah hizo pata za kuparticipate msiseme huwa ana participate ayuko yuko as in unajua kuna ile naika video hapa nafanya wewe utajipanga so he doesn't participate most of the time anajipata tu kwenye video so huwa set umemwambia fanya hivi tufanya hivi mwambia ama nini mwanzo video za kumkaribisha naeka hapa na msikia huko anafungua mlango najua kuna step zake na paka wangu pia wakianza chukulia na yeye ni mbaba na yeye naeka video hapo na mtime ya eh, yeye mwenyewe alichukuliaje? Alichukulia anything because those are the same things nafanyia hata behind cameras. I'm just jovial, I'm just cheeky, I'm just out there and I'm just entertaining. So and he knows that. And about me dancing and all that, ni kwa mwambia the whole of my back story. Mimi nilikuwa nani? So he doesn't see anything new. He accepted me the way I was. So the only thing that is there is just the camera hiyo ndio kitu ambayo inabidi katika past yako eh ushawe kujihusisha maybe katika mihadarati kwa sababu sikumbuki nilisikia wapi story 
but kuna time leo time moja ile kuna mahali nilisikia mtu akisema maybe uliyokuwateja hi hiyo tutaongelea wakati mwingine i'm not ready to open up about that but uh, once i'm ready i but ni kitu related to hiyo yeah it's something i'm trying so much to come out of it my childhood and that part of my life ni kitu ambayo i'm really struggling it's out there you know na mm. so i want to i want to tell it as much story yeah yeah ni kijua uchungu so my childhood and that part of my life i want to build it to build it as me yeah, yeah. na <coughs> hapa kwa kwa tiktok ama kwa social media mm. um, unapata challenge gani bullies trolls and uh, sometimes you are not in the yani you're not capable to make happy videos that you have you understand yeah. sometimes you're going through so much that you cannot go out there and just at it because some people are going to use it against you so you just go there and put a smile like you nothing is happening but you go through hell wala fu go pick up but za mashabiki kwa sababu mara nyingine pale wakija wao una una yani mtu akikujibu unampa lake huwa haogopi kupoteza mashabiki kwa hilo kama vile wewe huku ogopa ku comment kuzi ndio vile 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 mimi sita ogopa kukujibu naelewa mm. kama nilianza na follow watu wengi nikafika hapa i believe hata nikaanguka na imeandikwa bado nitapanda nitapanda so mimi nilisema hili na watu walijibu i will only humble myself before the lord and not any human because the god that i serve yeye ndo amenilift up na kiamua we time yako ya kukua juu imeisha shuka chini nitashuka chini akiamua time bado i will still continue right now naelewa so siogopi binadamu just because umeniambia wewe uko hivi na hivi so if you have an opinion about me i'm going to have an opinion about you kulingana na chenye nimeona kwa page yako so it's just the same thing chenye utanipatia ndo mimi nitakupatia lakini changu kitakuwa chungu zaidi wengi wanashindwa kutumeza eh kwa estimate eh mm-hmm. sababu uko uko nje naamini ya kwamba una inspire watu mm-hmm. una motivate maybe wewe ni role model role model wa watu wengine mm-hmm. eh sasa mtu anataka kupata motisha ya yeah, sababu mimi nitakuwa kama fancy basi saa nitapata nini mm-hmm. estimate eh kwa unatengeneza unapata kipato kwa gani maybe on the lower side on the higher side maybe kwa week kwa day kwa month estimate uh, estimating what i get in a day is uh, very hard for me because that is something i'm trying to figure out until now i invest in everything and anything that comes my way you know na so it's hard to estimate how much i've been getting That's why next year nataka ni ni ndio shule. Na hiyo hiyo ni plus yangu. Nataka ni ndio shule nifanye either business management or anything that can make me see the profit in my business. Na hizo kwa biashara hii nzima na nikaona katika nifanye biashara hii ni bado nitakuja kumpa baba yangu shida ya kwa maana nimeona kitu hii kazi cancel nimeona mafuta wei but nimeona madera nitanunua ni auze. So hapo sitajui kwa sababu ngapi liingia so estimation for me and now so much yani kwa sababu ni kama hiyo so hard for you to find it na for you to answer ulikuwa na management team eh na photographer ama videographer naitwa na Cliff kulienda jenda kwa sababu saa hizi sioni mkifanya kazi na item haya sasa the uh, the, point, the point where we went part uh, we went part even before nianze tiktok oh yeah before hata nianze tiktok we went part kwa sababu at that time we started uh, doing a lot of things ilikuwa ni wakati wa corona yeah. everyone had time yeah. but right now things are back to normal you yeah. know na like please me mtu wako na kazi yake he's a teacher yeah. Yeah. so he has to go back to school ah he has to go back to school did the olympia na ni mtu mwenye alikuwa na project zake yeah. so he had to go back so we started with the calls time was not there anymore mm. yeah basi watu walikuwa wanasema una date na Elon kwa sababu nakumkaribia kwa birthday yako gani mm-hmm. sijui ni 
was in 25 years bila aka post 25 posts mm-hmm. kama sijakosea mm-hmm. eh yeah. watu wasema hii ni excess ah hapa lazima lazima afu jua hiyo time i think mbaba kwa mko Kenya mm-hmm. eh mko mnadet yeah we were still we were ah still... ulikuwa mnadet na Elon ah, ah, si mbaba Elon maybe i have an impact on people once i start working with you ama niwe na onana na wewe sana i'll have a positive impact in your time when you do and elon is not the first person when you mean for sana na esim tu kwanza kunifanyia back to you know na so i have an impact i swear to god i don't know what it is but trust to me once i start being too close with someone yani i just create an impact and that person just learns to love me in a way that i don't know so it's not only elon i have people who do that and i Eh, uko uko na beef na mtu yote katika hawa watu ni special ama watu popular katika TikTok kama mtandao yote ya kijamii. Ni sina beef. Nilisikia kuna kwamba wewe mm-hmm. eh ume ume either umeblocki ama umeblockiana mm-hmm. na Trisha Hali eh na the same way wewe umeblock ama umeblockiana na Idris mama Fatu. Hiyo ni mpya. basi tu confirm. Simoke kwa hapa. Hiyo ni mpya sana. Hai simoke. Mhm. Hai. Ngoja. Ikisikia kuna. Mimi naraisikia kwako. Ah angalia hiyo simu yako. Eh simu hazibusu hizi. There's a pop up. Alafu message sio ya mbaba. Alafu sisi ni wambea wajue. Eh. Alafu za kwa macho yangu yako na zile lens za record. Na baka na nini? Kisha. Ah, ama ni bando za sound. Na na ni bando. Basi hata sajisho. Unikula kwa ni block nini? Hata nini kuna block na mimi sijui. Tunga tegris. tunapata fununu huko si na beef si hii hii au jeiko sana nao mahali ama jeipi sana nao jeipi sana nao trisha i shop hata at her shop even nikio unakumbuka nikio na bado zoe wewe nikienda kwa harmonize nguo ambayo nilivaa mimi nilitoa kwa shop ya trisha hali so kama yeye ameni block mimi si hii kama yeye ana feel yani sielewi idris mama Fatma Mshayi unana naye wapi una bando risto kwa mbe mbe unakuja huko alafu wewe sio una habari wewe habari si habari habari sija kuletea message hapo ulikula block at confirm kwanza sio wakati wa taongea uongo hapo kama taongea uongo tujue tu kwa tu story zetu zilikuwa za uongo oh kwa hivyo haja haja ni block sija block lakini hujamfollow sasa yeye hajani follow. Ah ah sasa mimi mmoja huanza hujamfollow. Haya twende. Haya twende kwa Idris <laughs> chama hizo story ya kufollow shida yako. Si yetu ilikuwa ni confirm kama Lakini hii hii ndio kwa mimi. Ah. Huyu naye yupi huyo koroga aebu toa. Ngoja simu gani? Aya. Ngoja hii ni ile iPhone ile ya kununua nini uploti. Ehe. Ile ya 200. Aibu aibu sikana kidogo. Ile iPhone gani? ili ah, ah, kwa TikTok. Na hii miguu yangu yote ya left. Ah lazima asibita dance ama asibita fani. Ama nifanye tutorial za kula kazora. Ehe. Au au nikula block huko ile. <laughs> Makofi. Amekula block huko ile. Wewe ni Trisha. <laughs> Angalia kwa <laughs> Idris. Eto <laughs> nani mama Fatima. <laughs> We Of kama mimi na habari za uongo wewe tuheshimiane. Mako, mimi kwambia mna ah hii account yangu ingine. Hujablockiwa ukwe wewe. Ah, hii iko na account nyingine. 
Watakubiliwa kusitaji huku basi ta pole pole kimya kimya. Wallahi sikujua sina habari na sijui. Bora nimeblokiwa. Labda kama uko na fununu kwa nini nimeblokiwa. But sijui mwanzo. Oh, mafans eh. Mnadhani ni kwa nini? Ali ali ni block na Trisha ama na Idris. Maybe nyinyi mnafununu ni kwa nini? Mimi niambiwa tu wako na beef mpaka wameblokiana. Ama ni wewe ndio mwa block. Sija block ndugu yangu. Ah. Mimi sasa hii wewe ndio unafanya ni realize kuwa sioni video zao tena. Sasa hivi. Okay, estimate mara mwisho niona video zao ni. Ah, ni kitambo. O, yani ukiangalia so so size vile umejua unadhani ni kwa nini hao watu wawili walikubwa sijui ndugu yangu sina shida nao biashara gani mzangu mimi nauza mkono oh wajua shida yangu mimi wana information zingine kwa sababu sasa wakati ule nikienda kwa harmonize ilikuwa muda gani juu sijui kama sijakosea ile ukachangiwa na wapenzi wako nikachangiwa na mafans nilienda kwa Trisha Kali nikaniniwa nguo so sielewi ni kwa nini labda nimeblock i don't know unajua ngoja nikwambie basi data 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 eh ambazo nimezisikia kwa Trisha Kali zinasema kwamba Trisha pia alikuwa awe sivi pia ni MC ama host as in katika kicheko mm. pia yeye but nasikia yule deal alikataa because wewe ulikuwa utakufa tutafanya bidi tu confirm to confirm cause hizi information is but too carbony nikifanya preparation before ni ku host ya wewe <coughs> umenitoa yes so mm-hmm. as in hizo nasikia ya ni fununu tutafanya bidi tu hiyo hizo story hebu eh, fanya bidi Wewe wewe okay, estimate as ni kwa nini? Si ndugu yangu, sina habari. Maana mimi kama mama Fatma sijai kutana na yeye la kwanza. Hivi ana kwa ana. Namjua mama Fatma kupitia si? Si. Labda kama nisha sijai fanya biashara naye. Yaani ile kukutana tukae tuongee hivi. The last time nilionana na mama Fatma ilikuwa wakati kipindi kile hata mimi sijaanza TikTok ndugu wangu ule wakati wa uh, uh, hizi mishemishi za joho unakumbuka ule mama ngina alikuwa kwa stage mimi nilikuwa chini yani mimi hata tiktok yangu ilikuwa ina views so ufikia yes sielewi yani ni kitu ambacho kimenishtua na kimeniuma siezi elewa kwa nini mtu atafuta uulizi chaguo ni lako wewe ndio kama wewe ulini block unajua ni kwa nini sasa mimi kitu ambacho kilikuwa kinisumbui najisi sana kinanihusu nini naelewa apart from hizi mishemishi zako za TikTok mm-hmm. eh unafanya nini ah apart from mishemishi zako za TikTok mwana biashara ngoroko angoja kwanza wewe mwenye pia wewe wa eh mwanzangu najikomboa najikomboa ndio very strong me as a makeup artist kwa sababu every other business that i'm doing has already picked up the only thing that is remaining makeup artist unaona yeah i own a shop mommy francy iko pale mshomoroni i sell beauty products na hapo hapo ndo wa makeup boutique yangu nikipata wateja one to one to and apart from that uh mimi ni mtu wa mtu mimi ni dada yake mtu na mimi pia ni dada yake hapa kwa bibi. Eh tumeona kwamba karibu nafanya wedding. Mm-hmm. Uh, but before tuanze kuona hiyo wedding nakumbuka nisha kuona ukasema happy 7th anniversary. Mm-hmm. Anniversary ni wanandoa. Mm-hmm. Bas saa ni kama mliwa na miaka 7 iliyopita. Then harusi tena inakuja. Haya sawa. Wajua sasa sisi Kiafrika kama una pesa wazazi wakikutana wewe ushaolewa. 
wazazi wakishakutana eh hey. wakishakutana wamejuana wewe ushaolewa hey. sawa ni yani ni ile sherehe tu ndio ilikuwa bado oh. hey. sasa sisi ni sherehe tu ndio ilikuwa bado lakini tunaanza push kando oh mbona ulichagua team ya black i love black uh, <coughs> black is me i feel black is my colorful color yeah and um through darkness i've seen light Oh. through darkness of full light uh i've had a dark past very dark my childhood is dark my past is dark so through that darkness i found my colorful color inside there so black will forever and ever be my happy color alafu ile vile vitisho ambavyo unasema ama ile wewe ni ngambo umepeana ni ukweli ni ukweli ndugu yangu wewe hujachanga wajaruhusu ni fanya nini kwa hivyo mtu ambaye hajachanga Uh-huh. asije harusini. Uh-huh. Haya. Na mtu asije na zawadi. Uh-huh. Aje na pesa. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm. Kwa sababu huko kwetu hata nikwambie machampali. Mm. I come from a humble background. Poor background. Ukisema okay, hivyo. But me I'm not poor. Uh-huh. I've eliminated that. Uh-huh. So I will so, take the humble nice. Yes. Mm-hmm. So kwetu hakuna stima la kwanza. Hilo hakuna stima. La pili baba yangu mwenyewe alikuwa hana nyumba nimefanya kumjengea mimi. Ni nyumba tu kidogo. Naelewa. La tatu sina huo uwezo wa kulisha more than less than 10 people. Kuna watu wengine wenyewe nitaambia kumbebe baba mwenyewe na watu wake watakuja na vyakula vyao. Wapikiwe wale. Baba wao atoka wapi? Baba yeye atoka huko huko kwetu kwao ni Budalangi. Oh. Mm. Afu huko mbona mmefanya nini huko Tanzania? Tanzania ni kwetu. Mamangu anatoka Tanzania. Oh, Mamangu ni cha. Oh. Yeah. So ilikuwa lazima twende tu taarifu na upya wajibebe wa waje oh, haya. Ehe. Na mtu akija kwenu si lazima umketa kama mgeni. Yeah. Ehe. Yeah. Wewe sasa unataka kuja kwetu uanze kunisumbua kuchaja simu. Unje kwetu uanze kunisumbua choo. Wewe je tu ndio ni viwili. Labda wewe mwenyewe uamue utaenda kitakani. Unaelewa? Mm. Wewe unataka kuja kwetu hakuna bafu nyingi. Sivyo kitu chote lazima watu wachangie ndio watu wapate. Yeah. So unakuja kwetu kufanya nini? Mbele ya Mungu sasa alafu sasa ndo utoke hapa wewe ndo ukaniambia nienda kwa kina mami hakuna hata choo tumejis a a huku changia ndugu yangu same celeb wewe una pesa alikwambia mna pesa nani 1.2 million followers 1.2 million ingekuwa wamenyekea shilingi shilingi kila mmoja ningekuwa na 1.2 million ya kuwafanyia harusi i'm not going to take a loan just because nafurahisha mtu i'm not that person i'm very down to earth i accept my status unaelewa so sita kufurahisha wewe follower wako mimi nije nianze kula sima na sima hapana mimi nataka niendelee kupiga sheshe baada ya harusi yangu nataka maisha yangu yaendelee pale pale ilipoachia so afadhali i would rather have what kidogo sherekea wao wengine mtaona picha na ukija una basha ndugu yangu haja kufanya nini hiyo basha yako labda ndio itakuwa kiingilio chako sasa utakuwa busy kuoa na utakuwa busy kuangalia kama watu wametoa pesa wanijua ama wanisikia nieleze wanijua ama wanisikia nitaweka watu yule ambaye yuko pale ni nani anakuja na basha. Ukweli wa mambo, maisha haya ya Ruto sasa hivi ni magumu ndugu yangu. Hauwezi anza kubebeleza watu kwa kuwa sasa sawa ni follower na kuthamini. Okay. Lakini sasa ile kuthamini kwako mimi siwezi umia kwa kuwa we ni follower wangu, unaelewa? Mm. Na wewe because just because uko na expectations za celeb. Usije ukanekea expectations zako kwangu. The same way mimi sasa kuwekea expectations zako, unaelewa? Okay so tuishi okay yote tisa kumi. Mm-hmm. Eh, kuna tofauti ya fancy yule tunamwona kwa social media ya TikTok na yule ambaye yuko peke yake akiwa peke yake nyumbani ama barabarani hivi very different eh eh niambie yule mwenye atumbi yule yule mwingine si calm but still hot tempered um um very down to earth um i am loud sometimes but not as loud as the new one iko kwa TikTok Yeah so most of the people who are coming on you know when I'm as a people think I talk to the person no there's a kind of just sit down and listen mm. so and uh, I believe um I don't believe I am a good person I have a good heart but that does not mean you should step on my toes yeah I don't take um anyone stepping real sense yani in reality acha ile watu I will just be with you one on one. The last time he <laughs> last time he fanywa the bridal shower and katika zile qualities zangu aliandika humidity 
Sasa ukishika simu yako ingia TikTok nani wa kwanza wao unatafuta Mimi mwenyewe. mwenyewe. Madama tunachisa. Mashabiki wako na mashabiki wangu. Nani ni the only the one and only ama the one and ah we if you if you oh usikose kusubscribe hii ni machampali media jungu kula habari za burudani zikitokea tu hapa ndio mali kwanza ambapo utaweza kuipata tutaenda next time bye bye